um, a summary of my background and what brought me here. I'm from Virginia Beach, and in February of 2007, my daughter was diagnosed with a rare chromosome disorder. Um, we suspected something was wrong, and, and when that diagnosis came in, um, it's bittersweet because we were happy to know what was wrong, but also to know that we had a road ahead of us to, um, to work with her and get her the best supports and services and early intervention and um, et cetera. So um, that led me then to um, join the Down Syndrome Association of Hampton Roads, which um, everything that Andrea Anderson said about the Department of Justice, which is what I'm going to talk about, um, brought me to be the president of the Arc of South Hampton Roads and along with her started that chapter in our area in Hampton Roads. Um, I'm sure you're familiar, the um, ARC is very pro-inclusion and community living in that people do live in community situations and not in institutional settings. Sorry, I'm a little emotional. <laughs> um, basically, when the Department of Justice letter came out a few weeks ago, um, I was horrified to think that this could be an option and for my daughter in the future, the fact that Chesapeake is rebuilding the institution, the fact that 400 people are living in Central Living Training Center, that the fact is 170 are on a discharge list and due to muddled transmission services and documentation, they are actually still waiting for years to actually transition into a community setting. And um, whatever the issues may be that are causing that, I would like for you all to address that um, with the Department of Justice findings that the governor, um, as you know, had um, set and asked um, for support for the $30 million trust fund. And um, I do urge you to support that trust fund in any way of transitioning people, the citizens of the training centers that belong in the community um, for provider rates so that community can be successful. Um, like I said, it's the most important to me because if something happens to me or my husband, that could be an option. My daughter is on the intellectual disabilities wait, waiver wait list. Um, she is one of 6,400 people waiting. Um, she's on the ABCD waiver, which we do consider a band-aid for services right now until she hopefully can receive that waiver. But if something happens to us, would our family members put her in an institutional setting if that's still available? 13 states have been able to shut their institutions down. Um, I think it's important for Virginia to jump on board, support transition um, into community settings, support provider weight so that there's quality care, that people can make a living wage, and, um, and people with disabilities can have reliable services. And um, I just urge you to support anything that would allow people with disabilities to live in the community. Thank you. Thank you.